Okay, now I've dried my wet brush for the Sharpie on top, so I'm going to draw something on top here in Sharpie. It can be whatever you would like it to be. My initials. You can do it however you want. Okay. I'll do my signature. Alright, so Sharpie on top, Sharpie underneath. Either way, it will work. Now we're going to continue on with our second layer of watercolor. So we need to go back to our orange or whatever color, two colors you did, and do another layer. Now, we aren't going over all four boxes this time. We're only going over the last three. So you go back over the last three boxes with that same color that you made, that you made before. Hopefully you have some left. If you don't, then mix them all up. So I'm going to go down, drop down a little bit, bring that puddle down, drop down a little bit, and bring that puddle down. And it gets just a little bit darker. Try to get that puddle to spread out evenly. So this is my lightest. Now I'm making it darker. Clean out my brush. Dry it off. And I'm going to do the same thing for my blue. So I'm going to get my blue. And again, I'm only going to do the last three boxes. So I'm going to go across, drop down a little bit, drag that puddle along with, drop down a little bit. If I need to, let's finish it off. Try to get a nice even value of those in those three boxes. And you can see it got a little bit darker. A little bit lighter at the bottom there. I'm going to try and even that out just a little bit. There we go. Okay, clean out my brush. And now my red orange. I go back in with my red orange. Do the last two boxes of those. Try to get that puddle to drop down. Bring that puddle back down. Okay. And again, I need to let that dry. Go use a hair dryer so that then I can do my last two. My next layer.